Nicholas Copernicus was a Polish astronomer now credited for finally showing the world, once and for all, that the Sun does not revolve around the Earth. But Copernicus couldn't explain planetary motion. He thought planets moved in a uniform circular motion around the Sun, which is not true. This created space for other astronomers to come up with their own theories as to our universe. One such famous astronomer was Tycho Brahe. Tycho Brahe was a Danish astronomer and nobleman. He was born in 1546 to an important and wealthy family. Unlike Copernicus, he was not a churchman and was known to be quite vain, haughty, and quick-tempered. What else did you expect from a stereotypical nobleman? Actually, he disfigured his nose in a duel while studying at the university and wore a fake one made of metal thereafter. Tycho studied law, but was really passionate about math and astronomy instead. Unlike Copernicus, Tycho believed in a geocentric universe, a universe with Earth at its center, one where the Sun revolves around the Earth. But Tycho's idea of the geocentric universe was a bit different than Ptolemy's version. In 1572, a quote, new star appeared that is now known as Tycho's supernova. Tycho understood that this new star should show parallax, the apparent shift in position of an object as a result of a change in the location of the observer. Parallax is something you experience every day without even thinking about it. It's a much harder sounding term than it actually is. Let's say you are driving on a highway. In the far background, there is a big mountain. Closer to the foreground, nearer the highway, there is a tree. You know logically that neither the tree nor the mountain can actually move. They don't have legs. They are standing still. But as you drive along the highway and approach the tree, it appears to be to one side of the mountain. As you pass the tree, it appears to be on the opposite side of the mountain. This is due to the parallax effect. Tycho did not see any parallax in the position of the star he observed, and therefore considered it to be important evidence against Ptolemaic theory. Tycho published a book about his thoughts on the matter that became quite popular. So popular that the Danish king Frederick II funded a new observatory for him. In fact, the king let Tycho earn a salary by collecting rent from a coastal district. Not very surprisingly, it appears the townsfolk thought he was a pretty bad landlord. In any case, Tycho's observations and his observatory made him the most famous astronomer of his day in Denmark, the center of astronomical study. Because Tycho never measured any parallax for the stars, he thought this supported his viewpoint of a stationary Earth. Such a thought rejected the Copernican hypothesis. However, this same idea also rejected parts of the Ptolemaic model of the universe as well. So, Tycho decided to come up with his own model of the universe. A model of the universe where the Earth was at the center, where the Sun and Moon revolved around the Earth, and where all the other planets revolved around the Sun. It is a type of geo-heliocentric system. Such a model was very popular in the beginning, but within about 100 years, the more accurate Copernican model displaced it nonetheless. Tycho's true contribution to astronomy was mainly observational in nature. He devised newer and better instruments that allowed himself and others to make very accurate observations of the moon, planets, sun, and stars. For 20 years, he and his assistants made very precise astronomical observations, not through the use of telescopes, since none had been invented yet, but with their unaided eyes, through the use of peepholes like those on gun sites. These observations pass the baton on to Tycho's assistant, the brilliant German mathematician known as Johannes Kepler, who would go on to discover the laws of planetary motion that eluded Copernicus. Tycho Brahe was a Danish astronomer and nobleman. He was the most famous astronomer of his day. He believed in the idea of a geocentric universe, a universe with Earth at its center. This is in opposition to Copernicus's belief in a universe with the Sun at its center. 
Tycho did not believe in the idea of the sun being at the center of the universe, nor certain aspects of Ptolemy's version of the universe because he did not observe parallax, the apparent shift in position of an object as a result of a change in location of the observer. So, Tycho made a model of the universe where the Earth was at the center, where the Sun and Moon revolved around the Earth, and where all the other planets revolved around the Sun. Such a model is known as a type of geoheliocentric system.